Hello, all this is Emrix. I'm about to do um, a comparison between the H50 Corsair cooler and the new H70, which I'll be receiving very shortly. It's not here at the moment, but I thought I'd just make a start. Um, this is my case, a half X um, from Cooler Master. Um, you can see I've got the NZXT monitor there. Um, just some specs. I'm not sure, I'm hoping you can see this because it's, uh, it's actually running and it's not too much light. But I, at the moment, you can see I've got the the H50 there, uh, running uh, push pull with the two, not sure how to pronounce them, not, not your fans. Um, I've got 6GB of XMS3 RAM. Uh, down here we've got a GTX 480 and 750 watt uh, power supply down the bottom. Uh, the processor is an i7 920 and I've clocked it to 4GHz. Um, so it's all running, so this is all sort of genuine review, um, non-biased review. Um, excuse this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to my screen, and I've run the real temp, and from that you can see that it's running um, approximately like 47 to 50 um, on idle, and that's what I'm going to stick with really, I'm going to do this sort of benchmark on idle settings. Uh, let's have a look. I'll run the OCCT right now and see what happens. I think now it shows a little bit warmer. Um, yeah, it's showing about, f it's showing more 50, 51. GPU, low. there's the GTX 480, looks four, it's 43 on idle, so that's pretty good. Um, I'll just go into my, oh, it's, there's no sort of step in on it, so as you can see, there's some specs there. Let's run it 4 gigahertz straight through. Right. So now, this is my wife's phone going off. Um, so that now, basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for the, the H70 to arrive, and I'll take the H50 out and I'll do, a, I'll compare the sizes to each, and see what it likes, see what it looks like vis visually. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Hello all, Emmerich's back again. The uh, H70 just arrived at the door. I'm just going to open it up. I'm not going to spend too much time about this, but let's just open this thing up. Right. Solutions guide, do not return rod or da. A few little notes, uh, little leaflets show you which socket you can connect it to. Uh, 1366, Intel 1156, Intel 775, AMD, AM2, and M3. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, this is what you're going to get. That's what comes. Look at the size of that radio. Whoa. Shocking. Uh, they're the two fans. Uh, these are supposedly meant to run uh, at 60, uh, well, a uh, full voltage at two th uh, 2000 RPM, but apparently they make some noise, but we'll soon find that out. But you, there is a restrictor in there that you can actually lower them to 1600, which I'll likely do if it makes a noise, but you've got two of those for push and pull. Uh, there's the various brackets. I've already got this one in, in mind from the H50, and apparently I can use that, so I don't have to mess around with all that. And I can just, just fit the radio and, uh, and sort that out. Anyway, let's have a look. Wow, that is a chunky from the H50. I'll get the H50 for you in a moment, but that is a chunky piece of kit. Um, you can see it comes with the the paste already on and I decided to take that off to see if I could lower some temps but I tried two or three, about three different types of paste but I couldn't actually beat the paste they've got on there. I don't know what they use on how they've put it on but it works very very well so I suggest anyone that's that's using this to just use the, the default paste they've got because it works really well. Um, 
apparently the pipes that go into it they actually move um, I've not tried this before but look you can actually move so you can arrange them a little bit easier in your box in your case rather um, yeah but look at the size of that radiator that's so thick um, that's obviously going to help but uh, and there's the actual pump which is mm, it looks about half the the height of the other one so that's less intrusive um, so I'll get you the other one the H50 to compare now here's the H50 now this radiator on this H70 is meant to be 50 millimeters thick you can see it is and this side by side this is the H50 look at the difference it's double double the thickness look the fan spacing still looks the fins still look the same um, but just double the thickness basically um, and let's have a look at the pumps the pump side by side that's your H50 in my right hand look at the difference oh, wow there's a lot of difference there but at the end of the day is the H70 going to be a viable upgrade for me I, I, on its own, if you never had the H50, I think it's probably going to be a good upgrade anyway. But am I going to see any differences with uh, the temperatures I'm getting on my sap, which is originally 50, uh, around 50 uh, Celsius on idle? Is this going to make any difference? Have I just wasted £85? Hmm. This remains to be seen. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to install it and we will find out the conclusion. Be right back. Well, I will finally managed to install it. Um, you can see it's a vast difference. Um, and basically, this is what it looks like in the case. Um, just a quick rundown uh, GTX 480, a little bit of a spec update. Uh, we've got the XMS3 6GB of DDR3 RAM, and the motherboard's a UD, what's the mother? EX58 UD5. Um, clock the processor is a i7 920 clock to 4 gigahertz so basically it's all installed I'm about to fire it up and I'll show you the video just after I've reached Windows desktop so it's all genuine and um, hopefully I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised or very disappointed uh, we'll see be right back hello back again um, basically uh, I've just managed to fire it up get it going check the temps and there's not a lot of difference at all um, it's just disappointing uh, there is a lot of difference if you have the fans running at 2000 um, rpm but they're very very noisy but at the end of the day i'm sure if you put those up those two if you get fans that can run at 2000 rpm and you put them on the h50 you're going to get the temperature drops that you see on this uh, h70 so to be honest, I don't think there's any difference, and I can't see why we've got a H70. Uh, you just want to stick with the H50 and put some stronger fans on it. Um, but fans running at 2,000 RPM will make a lot of noise, and it's just unacceptable. Um, so in all in all, this was definitely not for me personally a viable upgrade. And I think if you want to have a reasonable cooler, just stick with the H50 um, and knock the H70 on the head. So that's it. After all that, it's not not a good uh, an out, not a very good outcome, unfortunately. Oh well. Over and out, guys. Cheers.